Today we are going to review titration calculations. You need to have a pencil, a calculator, and the worksheet to go with this screencast. So for each of the problems that you're going to see today, my expectation is that you copy the problem, and then you pause the screencast and try to solve the problem, and when you think you're done, continue playing the screencast and check your work compared to my work. And I'm going to talk you through all of the steps. So hopefully by the time we finish going over these, you will feel a little more confident about solving titration calculations. These are on your quiz on Wednesday. Alright, so let's get started. The first one, practice problem number one. It takes 45.22 milliliters of 0 0.155 molar hydroiodic acid to neutralize 39.95 milliliters of barium hydroxide. What is the concentration in molarity, big M, of the base? So for this one, I'm going to walk you through the steps. So after I tell you a step, you need to pause the video and do that step, and then hit play again, and you'll get to see that step worked out. So the first thing you need to do is write a balanced equation. So this is the balanced equation that you should have gotten. Next, you need to take all the information and write it underneath the compounds that it's talking about. So this is what you should have figured out. So this is the plan that you should be doing when you're trying to solve this equation to find the molarity of barium hydroxide. You should not need to copy this down since it's going to be on the screen for you to follow along, but you want to go ahead and solve. So remember the way that you start this is you write the given milliliters first and then you take it all the way through and you're watching your units so that they cancel. So be sure that you're pausing the video now and you want to do your best to try to solve. When you think you're done, hit play, or if you get stuck, hit play, and you'll see what I've done to solve it. So the first step you're going to do is write down the given, and you want to go from milliliters to liters. So milliliters goes in the bottom, liters goes in the top. We're talking about the acid, and it's one liter is a thousand milliliters. So milliliters wipes out. Now you're here at liters, and you're trying to go to moles. So this is when you're going to use the molarity. So 0.155 moles of HI in a liter of HI. And if you want to put a 1 down there, you can. So liters wipes out. Now I'm with moles, so I'm here. So now i got to go to moles of BaOH2. So moles of HI go here, so they cancel. Moles of BaOH2 go up here. And so then these numbers come from the balanced equation. There's a 2 in front of HI. There's a 1 in front of barium hydroxide, moles of HI are gone, and then in the bottom, because now I have moles of barium hydroxide, which is what I wanted in the top, and then now I need liters in the bottom, but all they give me is milliliters, so I need to convert that to liters. And then now you're just plugging all of that into your calculator. So after you plug that into your calculator, you should get that the molarity of barium hydroxide is 0 0.0877. You want three sig figs. Okay, practice problem number two. It takes 26.77 milliliters of 1.5 molar sulfurous acid to neutralize 31.09 milliliters of lithium hydroxide. What is the concentration in molarity of the base? So let's just review naming acids real quickly because it's going to come into play right here. Sulfurous acid is going to be related to the sulfite ion. Okay, so your first thing that you want to do is write your balanced equation and then write the numbers underneath it um, that you're given in the problem. Pause the video. So this is the balanced equation that you should have and those are the values that you are given in your equation. And again, here is your plan. You should not need to write this out. If you still need it for guidance, it's up here on the screen. Okay, go ahead and solve. Pause. So this is how your work should be set up. 
I did not cross out units so that you could easily read them all. But again, that's a way to check to make sure you're setting this up right. If your units don't cancel top and bottom, then you've done something incorrectly. So then now you just need to plug this into your calculator. For those of you that are having trouble plugging this into your calculator, let me walk you through how this would go into your calculator. So you should be typing in 26.77 divided by 1,000 times 1 1.5 times 2 divided by parentheses 31.09 divided by 1,000 parentheses enter. And you should have gotten 2.6 molar lithium hydroxide to sig fix. Problem number three. It takes 20.39 milliliters of 0.7983 molar nitrous acid to neutralize 13.09 milliliters of strontium hydroxide. What is the concentration and molarity of the base? Okay, so for this one, go ahead and pause now. Try to take this from the start to the, to the end. If you get stuck, play the screencast to get you out of wherever you're stuck and then pause it again and try to keep going because I think that you guys should be able to do these problems at this point. Okay, so hit pause and try to do as much as you can before you hit play. So what you should have done first is write the balanced equation. So here's your balanced equation and the values that you know. So then now you're going to solve. Remember, start off with the milliliters of the known and get to molarity of the unknown. This follows the exact same steps as practice problem one and number two from today. Pause the video, get as far as you can, and then hit play. So this is how your work should look. And again, remember the way that you check is that your units cancel top to bottom. And then now you just need to plug this into your calculator. And your answer should be rounded to four sig figs Remember, two parts to your unit, so make sure you have the SROH2 written with your final answer. All right, practice problem number four. Go ahead and try this one on your own. So hit pause, and again, you're starting from the beginning. Write a balanced equation. Write down the numbers that you know, and then solve. One of the pieces of this one, though, is to make sure that you know how to do your um, ions. And per bromic acid, you would need the per bromate ion. You don't have that on your chart, but you do have the bromate ion on your chart. And bromate is BRO3 minus. And so you remember that the per tells you it has one more oxygen. So per bromate is P BRO4 with a minus charge. And then now you have to put it with a hydrogen to make it an acid. So this is the balanced equation that you should have. And then now you need to solve. And here is how you would work it. And your final answer should have four sig figs. So this is pretty much your plan. For every one of these problems that you're going to do, um, you're usually going to be given milliliters because it's been, um, you get the volume out of a burette, so you got to convert some liters, and then you're going to convert to moles, and then you're going to convert to moles of the other thing, and then you're going to be able to divide to get to molarity. So for your classwork today, what I need for you to do is take a picture of practice problem number three and submit that on eBackpack. Just problem number three. You keep the worksheet so that you have it um, as a template, kind of, when you're doing tonight's homework. So again, on eBackpack, submit a picture of practice problem number three. You do have homework that's due on Tuesday, tomorrow, by 8.50. You do have a quiz on Wednesday. I will be here this afternoon for tutorials if I'm needed. If you think you need me for tutorials, you need to send me an email. If nobody needs me, I'm not coming this afternoon. Your homework for tonight is on page 122 through 124 in your books, number 17, 18, 20, 26, and 27. I'm going to repeat myself. Page 122 through 124, number 17, 18, 20, 
26 and 27. Your work needs to look like the work that's on the worksheet from today. See you tomorrow.